Live, presented by KFC. ESPN, home of the national championship game. After a historic 2018 for Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, expectations for 2019 were pretty high. And though the reigning MVP hasn't quite performed the way he did last season, he did lead the Chiefs to another AFC West title and still has a chance at a first round bye. Chris Berman went to Kansas City to catch up with Mahomes. I can spin in anything. Your first real snow game. Was that fun? It was awesome. Touchdown, Kansas City! I spin this in anything! I mean, the, to have the snow like that, being from Texas, that'd be probably the most snow I've ever seen. And so it was cool to get to go out there and play. And then we got the, we, we played well, which made it a lot better. Did I look like Lamar? Hey, yeah, was that of, juke? I mean, my helmet, huh? I forgot. Forgot about that. At one point, I looked over. I mean, I'm watching on TV, and there's Coach Reed with the with the snow. He looked like the abominable snowman. He was throwing throwing stuff out there about my hair and having the the snow tips on the on the hair. So he he, he was throwing a couple at me. You always gotta throw some jabs at him because he's always he always throwing jabs at you. So um, he's awesome. He, he enjoys it. It was good to kind of be out there and just having fun. I think I'm a snow game guy. I don't know why, but I kind of like it. Everything's super slow, and I'm just like out here, just like standing straight in the pocket, just like. <laughs> Mahomes sneaks it, and somebody better guard that ankle. Mahomes may be hurt. Oh no, he is in a lot of pain. They are checking the right leg. Quarterback, you're going to get hit all the time. It's just that here's week one, an ankle, and then here goes your knee. What are you thinking? Like, oh. So this is what quarterbacking in the NFL is more like? Yeah, I mean, you understand that, that injuries happen and that you understand that with this league and how, how much of a grind it is. To, you have to take care of your body and, and prepare yourself each and every week. You can win in different ways. I think that's the biggest thing that I, I've, I've learned this year. It's not, it doesn't always have to be these deep shots, these, these acrobatic throws and all the different stuff. You can sit in the pocket, learn how to move the ball kind of down the field and figure out ways to score touchdowns. And that's the, the beauty of the NFL is that every team's good. And it's about finding a way to win if that's putting up points or if that's just finding a way to hold on and let the defense win it. So what you're saying is maybe you feel you're a better quarterback than last year when everything looked rosy. I, I do, honestly. I mean, I understand the stats last year and, and the numbers that we put up and, and how, how amazing it was that we did all these different things. But I feel like as a quarterback and as a, as a player in this league, I understand how to not hurt the team and how to put us in the best position to, to get the win. And uh, I think that just comes with growth and experience is you don't make the same mistakes that you made uh, in the past. And I feel like as I keep getting more and more experience, I'll keep becoming a better and better quarterback. Welcome again to the Magic Show. Unreal. That's amazing. I don't have the adjectives. Now that you're two years into starting and you've been an MVP and you have a playoff run facing you, do you still think back to what you learned when you watched Alex Smith play here? I do go back on that year a lot. I mean, you can look at that year and the tough stretch that, that we had in that year where we lost a couple games in a row there and then how I saw him kind of go about it and still stay with the process and still kind of lift the team up and, and find ways to get them into the, get us into the playoffs and do all those different things. And when you can look at our season now, it's, it's very similar where we kind of started started hot and then lost some games that, that we wanted to win and that we thought we could win. And then now kind of trying to find this run now and understand that each and every day you have to take advantage of it. And that's stuff that I saw him do in my rookie season. What do you feel about you and this team, the Chiefs, as high flying and as good as you were in the number one seed and all that last year? How might this Patrick end better than the last one? I think I think the biggest thing that, that we've done this year that's different is that we've kind of dealt with the adversity of the season and we, we've won in different ways. We've won games where we've had to score a lot of points, but we've also won games where the defense has shut them down and we've found a way to win it that way. I think when you see the great football teams, that they learn how to win and, that, and that's the biggest thing. It's not about uh, one unit doing everything or, or one side of the ball trying to be the, the, the shutdown defense or the high flying offense, but just finding ways to win football games. And that's why you see New England has done it for such a long time. And so we feel like as a team that we can win in many different ways. And I feel like that's going to help us out as we go into the playoffs and hopefully make a run at it. The race for the number two seed in the AFC is down to two teams, the Patriots and the Chiefs. 
New England can clinch with the, that two seed with a win or a Chiefs loss, and Kansas City needs to win and have the Patriots lose to the Dolphins in order to get it. According to our football power index, the Patriots have a 97% chance to take the two seed football power index, not feeling great about the Dolphins. <laughs> Steve Young joining us on Thursday. Hey. Steve, hey, how are Chris. you feeling about Patrick Mahomes and his level of play right now compared to last year? I am unconcerned about <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. I am only concerned about health. And he has been banged around, and that's the NFL. Just listening to that interview with Boomer, I, you just can see the, the adult Patrick Mahomes and only getting more so. I just feel like I am not worried about him. I'm worried about his protection, and I'm worried about his defense. And if he brings that defense and he's protected, they will not be stopped. I think they learned from, it's like you said, every mistake we've made, we don't want to make another one like it. And that includes the championship last game against the Patriots last year. And that's a mistake that they made that they don't want to make again. And I think they're poised to not make it again as long as his friends are playing well. I'm not worried about him. All right, Steve, thanks. Don't go anywhere. Much more from Steve Young later on in today's show. But first, Victor Cruz took time out from shooting the next James Bond movie <laughs> to join us for Cruise Control, which, which is a segment we do every Thursday where Victor is in the driver's seat and he takes us down a road of his choosing once we present him with a big question facing an NFL team, player, et cetera, et cetera. So what do we got first today? What, Dan, what, first and foremost, I just want to welcome you into the first know, Cruise Control honor. segment. Welcome. It's an welcome honor. to our land. You'll okay. never forget Seen it. it. So, okay, <laughs> we've been talking Chiefs Patriots, right? Yep. Who is the bigger challenger to the top-seeded Baltimore Ravens in the AFC, the Chiefs or the Patriots? Well, the biggest challenger for me, you know, the Patriots obviously have had a lot of ups and downs throughout their season. They've still been playing great. Um, but offensively, they struggle for me. And, and for me, offensively, I'm going with the guy that doesn't struggle because he's cooking up. Uh. He's been chefing up in the snow, in the grass, in the sun, in the sleep. It doesn't matter the weather. He's throwing the ball around, either doing it with his legs or doing it with his arm. He knows how to get the job done. He knows how to get this team together. Andy Reid knows how to put the play calling together to make this team successful. And I'm going with the Kansas City Chiefs to be the biggest challenger to the Ravens uh, coming out of the AFC. Hey, Rob, you, you yeah, play I'm for the Patriots, right? Yeah, 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 wait. yeah. So I, I, wait. I can't help it. Okay, so what, what the Ravens have what? A great offense, good running game? They Pretty do. good defense. What do the Patriots have? What do the Patriots have? The number one defense in the NFL, mm. right? The number one defense, and how do you win championships? You got lions on the field. <laughs> wow. And, and they, they have wow. that on defense. The roar? Like Did we go with the I'll, roar go a little, I'll go a little smaller there. And you got Tom Brady in the playoffs. <laughs> hey, the Ravens, some of these teams, they might, they, might little, they might be a little They might be a little nervous. Did the, uh, did the Patriots lose to Kansas City this year? They did. Year? Hey, and they also, last time they I checked, the Zebras missed the They also calls. lost to the other two division champions, which is interesting. How? But last time mm. you checked, the Patriots you played, beat them in the AFC Championship Did Harry step out of bounds, or was that a touchdown? Oh, here, All right. we go. here we go. We know what the standings say. How big a deal is it for them to get a home game in the bye? Oh, it's going to be very big because you, you haven't have played there. Older, older guys, and look, when you have Julian banged up and Tom's banged up right now, having that extra week is going to be massive. So Huge. to have that number two seed, I think the Patriots is very vital for them to get that bye. It's like winning an extra playoff game. It's like winning a playoff game, having that and pretty much. if there's anyone who knows that Tom Brady bumps it up in the postseason, I mean, last year we were all talking, oh, my God, they're done, they're done. They proved me wrong, and then, they, you know, they ended up Different winning the Super Bowl. I'm just, I'm we'll just saying. never say so, they're done. Well, last you know, week they looked decent. Unless Eli Manning and Victor Cruz are out there, they're never <laughs> Still got to contain done. Lamar. Who has a better defense to contain Lamar? We talked that about up. that NFC East race. We <laughs> talked about Carson Wentz and Dak Prescott. They're both four and one in divisional games with their only losses coming against each other. Wentz has a better touchdown to interception ratio. Dak has a better QBR and completion percentage. But let's hear from Carson. We have to win this one. You know, it's just like the last few weeks, you know, I think everyone knows that. Um, you know, obviously we've had uh, a couple emotional wins um, the last few weeks. And, um, you know, as, as leaders and coaches as well, they've done a great job of just making sure guys are still bought into this, in the here and now, and not dwelling on the past, not looking ahead either, um, and just going out to work. You know, this, we got our work cut out for us against a good opponent on the road. Um, and obviously if we win, we're in. So we know what's at stake. I was just actually asked, you know, how I'm feeling, and it was, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful. You know, I'm thankful. You know, obviously, last, like you said, the last two years, I've been out at this point, and so um, to feel the way I do, to still be out here with, with the guys at Week 17, uh, it, it's a blessing, something I don't take for granted, and I'm excited to, to go hopefully get one more. 
What do we think of the sweatshirt on Carson? Duck, good Christmas hoodie. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, he's I a hunter, it. right?